Good evening, and thank you for joining me this evening. I am Kim Spear, and I'm a deacon at St. Edward's Episcopal Church in Mount Dora, Florida. This evening, we will pray together the prayers of Compline, which are found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 127. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us say together Psalm 4, found on page 128. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only in you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory and forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. 
Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering and pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. We'll take a moment of silence if you would like to offer up your thanksgiving or intercessions. Please feel free to post them in the comments sections if you choose as others will pray for them. Loving Lord, we thank you for the many blessings you pour upon us in our life. Father, we thank you for the protection that surrounds us at this time of uncertainty. We thank you that you just put that hedge of protection up to shield us, to protect us out of your great love. Father, your spirit hovers over us and it hovers in the midst of all this chaos. It never leaves. It totally surrounds us. And during this time, Lord, as we are to be in our homes and, and shelter in place, it, it, it's a challenging time. But it's also a time, Lord, where there is a lot of silence. And your word tells us, Lord, that we find you in the silence. Help us to find you there, Lord, and help us to hear you. You tell us to be still and know you are God. So let us hear you, Father, that we would be prepared to be the people you have called us to be, to serve others in need at this time and after this pandemic is over. Rise up within us, Father, that spirit of love and caring and the need that we feel deeply to reach out and help those who will desperately need it. You are a God of new beginnings, Lord. Father, we lift up to you those who are working in the hospitals and on the front lines. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you're with them, with them, even in the midst of their anxiety and uncertainty, you're right there. You're familiar with those situations. We trust in that, Father. May they just be sustained and surrounded by your presence. Be ever present to them, Lord. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
the almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. I pray that you have a peaceful night and, and just a blessed, rich day tomorrow. Good night.